Hi guys, we're back and uh, this is the uh, Logitech um, G303 um, Deadliest Apex gaming mouse um, software. Um, you just download the software from the Logitech website and then you just and then you and you get this. And you start with two um, profile switches like here. Right here it says automatic game detection. So you can store your profiles um, onto the computer or you can store it on onboard memory on the mouse itself which is um, quite nifty and quite handy if you go on LAN and like and you want to take your gaming um, mouse with you. So I'm um, going to show you um, all the settings on here. So the first settings here is the, you get three um, profiles. Um, and then you can change each profile to whatever you want. So I'll just go click this one, one profile two. And here is the pointer settings for the DPI levels. And you can change what how many how many numbers of levels you have. So you can have two, maximum up to ten. Um, sorry, not maximum up to um, five. And then you can change um, the one by one as well. So you can type in how much you want I'll say a thousand is done by f um, and 50 um, 50 um, sensitivity levels so you can see change by 50 so let's see how much you want and you can change it on the um, on here as well just click and drag on the level so which one you want and that's that's pretty nifty and then Report rate, which is polling rate, it's at 125, 250, 500, and 1,000. Normally, just keep it on 1,000. You just want to have the best response and best um, best rate for your for the mouse. Let's, let's get a, and then you can change the uh, mouse um, buttons. So if you want to change your DPI, just go and click here and go edit. And then there's plenty of um, functions. You can have left, right, forward, backwards, DPI up and down, um, DPI cycling, G sh shift. Um, and there's quite a lot of um, music involved as well. So there's next, previous track, up and down, um, volume and down as well. So, And then there's keystrokes, closed windows, cop um, cut, copy and paste, redo, undo and then there's mic and then there's um, multi key um, macros you can record how much you want and then that's pretty much it for the profiles there's plenty of um, customization uh, and just what um, settings you want and then here on the next one it's the lighting effects there's a bunch of colors it's basically the color of the rainbow or color of the spectrum rather um, I normally believe as orange because my favourite colour is orange or light blue. This one, that's quite cool. And then um, you can change, you can put that into three different profiles as well. And then you can change the lighting settings so you can turn on and off the logo or the side. And then you can change the effects of the lighting as well so you can have it off, off, completely off. Um, Color cycle, it just cycles through. Um, like the stock colors here, or the colors here, um, like one at a time, and then there's breathing effects, which is you can see right now it's just breathing slowly. You can do that with the logo and the side as well. You can turn it on and off. I normally just keep the logo on because it's it's a G logo, and then the side on breathing mode, and then you can have the light, uh, the brightness, and the rate of the um, breathing as well. So, and you can and the timer for the breathing effect. And this one's quite interesting. It's a service tuning, because because I'm using a um, a razor cloth um, cloth mat. You can tune it to what um, surface you have. So if you have like I don't know a Steer series or like I don't know um, Corsair mat, you can change you can tune it to your sensor, which is quite nifty. It's this. It's just some instructions how to tune it, and then uh, that's pretty much it there actually so um and then here is just some key heat 
uh, key press heat maps just shows you how many key, um, key clicks you've done and uh, just do some settings and I think this is just yeah just social media and then here is just showing you like all the stuff that's pretty much it and um, I'll show you a little bit of it in the automatic game detection it's got something different it's got this you can see it pops up and it's got a extra um, profile so you can actually put games in here just type in what games you have on your computer or you just search it and then you can actually change the um, the commands for it so I play this go you can change your um, key bindings and uh, and all the keys on on the mouse instead of going to the games itself I prefer it on the game because it's just I don't know it's just better weapons like the mouse uh, like I don't know don't really import the um, commands from the um, into the game and uh, you probably have some problems with it so the best way is just go to the game and do it yourself and do it on the game itself so instead of putting the profile into the uh, mouse so um that's pretty much it to be honest and uh, if you like this video um, feel free to comment um, if you want some if you have questions just feel free to comment down below and uh, thanks for watching my unboxing as well um, I'll probably do more um, videos um, on CSGO I haven't done much on CSGO so I've been playing uh, Dirty Bomb or CSGO at the moment and, uh, and UK is quite hot so yeah that's it for now and uh, uh, subscribe and um, I'll see you next time